to install Ubuntu as a virtual machine in VMware, we'll start by downloading the latest version of Ubuntu. So we go to the Ubuntu Downloads page and click on Download. And then we can wait for the download to start, or there's a small link here that you can click to start the download manually. I've already downloaded the image for speed. I've already downloaded the image, so I'll go ahead and cancel the download process, but you'll want to wait till it completes. Now I'm going to start up VMware. In this case, I'm going to use VMware Fusion for demo, but you'll find that Workstation, Player, and Workstation Player work in a similar fashion. We're going to start by clicking File and New. And then we're going to say install from a disk or an image. This is usually the default option. We'll click on use another disk or image, go to our downloads directory, and click on the ISO that we downloaded. Hit continue. And go ahead and check off use easy install. We'll put in our account name that we want our Ubuntu account to be, and we'll give it a password. This will be the account that you log into Ubuntu with when the installation is complete. Hit continue and customize settings. We can change the name and the location where the disk is going to be stored. Once you're happy with the name, hit save. Now we can go ahead and change the settings. First, I'm going to set up sharing. I'm going to enable shared folders. Click on plus. And I've already set up a shared folder, so I'm going to select that folder. If you're not familiar with shared folders, this is a folder on your host operating system, the real operating system, that's accessible to both the host operating system and the guest. The guest in this case is Ubuntu. Also, I'm going to click on Processors and give it two processors and double the memory. Be careful that you don't overtax the host machine, that you have plenty of resources and capacity left over for that machine when you're done. You can run on one processor and a gig of memory if you're constrained. Under Display, depending on what kind of operating system you have, you may want to go ahead and give some more graphics memory if you have enough space to do so because Ubuntu has a pretty heavy graphical desktop. And if you don't, that's okay. Now we're ready to do the installation. So we'll close the settings and we'll click on the play button. Once the installation process starts, it's going to take a while. Go ahead and let it complete. With the installation complete, we can go ahead and log in. We'll use the password that we chose earlier. And you've installed Ubuntu on VMware.